boys today we're gonna be teaching a new how to drift in acetyl corza say hi what's up guys how you doing today so uh this man over here is actually a twitch streamer with uh 10 000 twitch followers yes sir i prepared a few challenges and i will be helping him and giving him tips to complete the challenges when needed and the first challenge is gonna start right here in the pit stoner so we're gonna we're gonna see how good you are so let's just come over here you see this little cone over here yeah little cone all right drift around it drift around it like in a circle like in a circle about to show the skills by the way what is your wheel that you're using as well i have a g920 with a 355 millimeter wheel so you swapped the wheel yeah i did a wheel swap basically we can see like you can do a couple of lap or laps around the cone can you try to do the same thing but you just go the other way okay right now you're doing really good actually wow you're doing like way better on this side yeah i definitely feel like i have a favoritism when I go into certain turns. Yeah, right now you're doing pretty good. Going nice and wide over there as well. Seems like you can throttle control as well. Uh, now, try to drift around me. Try to get as close as possible to my vehicle without actually hitting it. Okay, you're doing good. You gotta get closer though. I, I do like your big circle. Try to get closer. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And without hitting the vehicle. That's very good. Okay, I did a little tap over there. These tiny tracks, you only need one gear. Second gear. Now, if your second gear need changing you go into the pits go into gears and you can see what your second gear max speed is and you can either make it shorter or longer based on whatever you choose over here now tires and everything we're gonna keep it stock and i believe your car doesn't even have a turbo so you don't need to change that for me example i have like this button over here if i turn it left turbo goes lower and if i turn it right turbo goes up so i usually put it on 100 turbo nothing else you need to really change uh, the gear should be fine. You should probably just put it in second gear and leave it there. It's going to be easier for you because you can just focus on the steering wheel and pedals. The noob is now going to go on the track and uh, we're going to see his first attempt. Can he drift the whole thing? And Stoner, you should already be sideways. Already be sideways? That's crazy. And over here, that's a tricky corner. You got to really extend it. And might have to use the handbrake as well over here. You actually... Wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, you just sent it a little too hard over there. This is the next corner over here. A little bit of... A little, little bit of oversteer over there. We'll fix all that, don't you worry. Okay, looks like you're doing pretty okay over here. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple of longer corners over here. Oh, yeah, if you go on the grass, rear tires, you will spin out pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now comes the uh, long straight. And just try to do a good entry into the first corner over here. So let's see if you can do a drift entry over here you are trying i like it oh wow that was almost a reverse entry there <laughs> tried to do a little bit of impressing but it did not work too well this whole track is easily doable in second gear so very beginner friendly you don't need to focus on changing gears all you gotta do is steering wheel pedals and handbrake from time to time pretty straightforward definitely suggest starting out with a track that you can do in one single gear because shifting you can learn later after you have gotten down your transition your total control your counter steering all that as for the steering wheel 900 degrees is fine you don't need more because that is the most realistic um when i started on seto i started on the default setting of, i think it's 540 so i started at 540 just so i could get the hang of the wheel how the wheel like rotates in your hand how much it turns yes you can absolutely absolutely lower it it is absolutely fine to start drifting in a seto corza with absolute default settings default everything uh the force feedback should feel firm but not too firm like you shouldn't be fighting the wheel if you're fighting the wheel you gotta lower it uh, in a set of course that if you go into settings you can bind a button uh, for example i binded uh, my force feedback button over here if i turn the button my force feedback for that specific car increases if i turn it the other way it lowers and uh, this way you can just dial in any car so stone are you on the track right now practicing yeah i am i'm still on the track okay good yeah just you, you just keep on practicing and i'm coming for for your door as well i'm right behind you spilling it so try to not oh panic you are panicking okay? <laughs> a little, little, little bit of panicking <laughs> putting the pressure on me already now it's a three-man tandem now Stone it. it's already a three-man tandem where are you going <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm panicking i'm panicking okay try to do a good entry uh last time you did it a little early so yeah try to do it a little bit late that's better 
Yep, better go a little bit wider than two inside. Um, should I be worrying about any kind of like left foot breaking at all? I don't really do any kind of left foot breaking as well. The easiest way is to just grab the handbrake if you need to break. Left foot breaking is a little bit, you know, on the advanced side as well. Uh, comes really handy when you do tandems though, and if you're like behind somebody and you need to like slow down your car a little bit. Okay, this is a, this is a tricky corner. It's like a basically a U-turn over here. Let me see. What do you, what do you do over here? Okay, you go a little bit wide. That's good. That was really good, Stoner. That was nice. I think whenever I first started playing this game, you were uh, giving me a lot of tips. And one tip that I really took into mind was um, seat time. The more you sit down and try to play it and practice it, the easier it'll like come to you. So that's that's definitely one thing I, uh, I've been trying to do is just a lot more seat time in this game. Yeah, absolutely. But over here, you can already get sideways, a little bit of a clutch kick. You gotta keep it nice and wide over here. So uh, you... Try to avoid the inside a little bit. Here you gotta keep the angle very humble, very little angle. Handbrake will help at the very end over here to get you sideways. All the way, you wanna drift. You don't wanna really stop drifting at any point over here. Now you wanna go inside right over there, inside, and then extend inside again, outside over here, and then back inside over here, just like that. It's kind of like the racing line, kind of, right? Uh, over here outside. We whip it the other way, connect it into this corner. I did do a little bit of a handbrake entry as well. You don't need to connect that to a little bit of a fishtail over here. It's easier this way. You can use your handbrake to slow your car down. Same pretty much over here. You just do a little bit of a body weight transition. And the last corner is right over here. And that's pretty much how you do a full lap decently. Make sure the wheels are spinning at all times. Unless you pull the handbrake, obviously. Okay, good. Yeah, you should have just uh, abused the handbrake there. I did. I gave it a good yank, but it, it straightened me up a little bit. Okay, maybe try holding it longer next time. Like, handbrake can just, like, extend the drift. If you go in two inside, you can just, like, hold the handbrake. Just, you can go nice and, nice and wide. Okay, this is good. Connected. Nice. Okay, need a little bit of more angle. Yep, that's good. Okay, connected. A little bit of a whip over here. Nice. Good. Tiny whip over here. Yep. That was good. That was good. Uh, yeah, if you were a little bit on the left over there, uh, that would have been good. I want I want you to spec to me one more time. I want to talk about the handbrake. I'm going to just try to uh, show you how much I actually hold the handbrake on. I'll say handbrake and then I'll say release. So you know how long the handbrake is, is being held. Going over here. And a handbrake. Release. So you release it like at the very beginning of the turn, right? Yeah. So that was that was that was a long time. I didn't just yank it, you know, and then just be done with it. I held it. Kind of makes it easier to like take these corners. Yeah, I'm normally used to just barely pulling my handbrake, but I'm noticing that the longer I pull it, the better it's definitely doing. Okay, over here, I already pulled the handbrake, hold it, and clutch kick and go. That was pretty good if uh, you were just like on the grass. Otherwise, that was pretty good. Yeah, the grass definitely uh, definitely got me there. Yeah, and if you do this very long handbrake holds, then at the same time, I do hold the clutch in and kind of keep the revs up as well. So we're like a clutch kick at the end of the handbrake release. Okay. Okay, you're good. You're going a little too wide there. Yep. Okay, we are we are evolving but backwards. It's still some type of progress, but not not the good progress, but it's progress. Absolutely. I will say this is the first time I've used a different car pack. I mainly use Team Effort car pack. It's just a very comfortable feel for cars for me. And it's a, I think it's a lower horsepower. Uh, mods will help you. They will make your drifting easier. Absolutely. But it's not needed. And also, uh, increasing the tire pressure will make everything slower. So you can also try increasing tire pressure. So tires have more air in them. So there's less grip with the road. So you have like more reaction time. So that's, that's a tip as well. If you're like really starting out for the first time. Okay, you're doing good. Try to connect. Nice. Good. Nice little initiation. I think you got off throttle like too fast there. Mm, a little too much throttle maybe. Yeah. I almost got most of the track down besides just a couple turns now. Okay, good. Connecting it. Yeah, your, your count is there in way too early there. You should have held the angle a little bit more there. 
Just hold, hold. Yeah, you're doing it a little too early there. My wheels, uh, it's straightening it up on its own, by the way. I'm not turning the wheel, it's just turning itself. Don't let it turn, hold on to the wheel then. Oh, okay. Yeah, because when you're drifting and exiting a corner, you are transitioning way too fast. Like, you, you should have, should hold the angle a little longer there. Yeah, okay. Handbrake. Yeah, you should have been a little, little early with the handbrake. I need to learn to hold the handbrake and not just release it. Okay, this is good. Okay, hold it. Yep, draft. Handbrake. That was almost good. That was almost pretty good. Almost a reverse entry. When in doubt, pull the handbrake pretty much. Okay, this is a good corner. Hold it. Yep, nice. That's better. That's better. That, that was a good start. That that exit was was really good. Okay, try to try to keep the tire spinning all the way over here. And yeah, what the sign is, you switch. Perfect. Uh, that was almost good. You should have gone a little bit close to the barrier. You did uh, uh, the initiation a little too early there. Okay, handbrake. Hold. Yep, good. Clutch kick. Okay, not bad. Higher. Oh, a little hop there. Okay, handbrake, handbrake. Yep. Yep, go inside there, inside. It should be more inside there. More inside. You gotta use all the road, like a proper racing racing line. And yeah, this is good. I can see you throttling the uh, controlling the throttle there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice. Yeah. Little uh, fish tail. That was good. Idea was good. Handbrake. Yep. Nice. Well, that corner is definitely getting better and better. That's good. Inside. Inside. Handbrake. Handbrake. Okay, you were a little late with the handbrake. Man, that was good though. Yeah, I got mad close to that one. I felt that one. I'm also trying not to just lead foot the whole time. I feel like my acceleration foot's a little heavy. I'm trying to be a little less heavy on the accelerator. Yeah, I see, and it's working. Okay, uh, spec the one, one of my runs again. And just only pretty much focus on when I'm like switching. Like if I do a tiny corner and I'm sideways, when do I exit the corner? How soon and stuff like that. And kind of like my line basically. Let's just try to focus on that, okay? So right now, less speed. Uh, over here, handbrake. Handbrake, just letting it slide. Clutch kicking. Just clutch kicking it a little bit. Now you're gonna go a little bit inside. And you can use handbrake. I was a little too inside. But handbrake saved me there. And switching over here. Switching over here. Pretty late. Yeah, you usually do it a little earlier, right? Over here, inside over here, and then pretty much after inside, handbrake, and then you can clutch kick if needed. I do clutch kick a lot, I've noticed. Definitely notice I'm definitely heavy on the throttle going around compared to to yours. Yeah, just what one more lap. Just try to look at the lines. How do I how do I exit? How do I enter corners? When do like switch sides kind of? Here I went a little too wide, but inside, and uh, pretty much handbrake right over there. Handbrake over here as well. Push the nose right in. And get a whip it right there and back. And over here, late, late exit. A little bit of handbrake over there. And here comes the big entry over here. Where the tires are, you can switch. And that is how you do it, pretty much. What did I do differently if you could compare it to your, to your lines and stuff? Your throttle control is a lot more lighter than mine. Um, I definitely can notice I'm a lot heavier on my throttle around some turns. You're definitely initiating your e-brake a lot sooner than I am as well. And you're, you hold it, because whenever I pull my e-brake, I tend to just pull it and let it go instead of holding it. Yeah, holding is better. Okay, I see. Good. Nice. All right. Inside there. Okay, inside. Handbrake, handbrake. Nice. Good. Clutch kick. Beautiful. Wow. Yep, handbrake. Go soft, soft. Hold, hold. Okay, yep. Wow, okay. That's probably your best run so far, I think. Handbrake. Yep. Damn. Dude, that is your best run over here. Handbrake. Hold. Yep. Hold. Hold. Good. Good. I think I finally connected the whole track for one time. 
without yeah. spinning out. Right uh, that, that, that was really good. Like I said, your your throttle control is a lot lighter than mine because I'm used to Car X. Like, I'm very heavy on the throttle on Car X. So I'm used to, like, rev limiting and holding the holding the throttle down for a long time. Yep, good. Handbrake. Hold, hold. Clutch kick. Nice. Nice, though. Yeah, a little bit over there, but, man, that was good. Dude, when you came here for the first time in this map, Every corner was spun out. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm able to almost connect the entire track. And this is the magic of practice, which nobody wants to hear. Yeah, you are definitely way more in control now after a couple of laps. Now, boys, after hours of practicing, this is the result. So we went from crashing in every corner, as you see earlier in the video. Pretty much every corner, he either always just spun out or hit the tires. So we're going from a bad run over here to this run right now. Now, so this is what we uh, ended up with. This is one of the best runs that Stoner did over here. It all comes down to practice at the very end. People don't really want to hear it, but practice is the key. Uh, I definitely don't suggest changing up the track every five minutes. Master one track and then move on into the other track. This way you can see more progress. If you just switch tracks, you're going to be bad at every track. Uh, pick one track that you love. You can even use the default dress map, but the point point is you gotta practice you gotta put in the time there is no shortcuts you can watch this video you still won't be drifting like c Torito. the main thing is getting seat time but ultimately it is all practice so hopefully you took something from this video if you did and it helped you like and subscribe check out stoner on twitch as well over here on the screen and as always stay sideways peace